So we looked at the patch notes and th they were pretty good from what we saw yesterday. The biggest things of notes were fuse box is now able to be reset by the family and turned off. And now stun durations are also limited. Very big. So it's kind of, it's pretty big about the family. Door stuns, you now get a stun immunity 10 seconds after an initial stun ends. And then Taekwondo was also nerfed. I want to test the stun immunity first. Just stand, just, uh, yeah, just go, just stand right there. All right. All right, slam. Okay. All right, so there's no knockback. I should be timing this, but we'll, we'll test the stun immunity. Uh, well, that, did, that didn't work properly because he didn't go through like the full animation. Oh, wow, no, yeah, there is, there's just no. There we go, okay. Let's see if he goes through the full animation this time. He should. Wait, what? Oh, did they shorten the animation? They might have taken away the animation where they... He puts it above his head and then, like, shakes. This feels a lot longer than 10 seconds. I'm timing it right now. Oh, wait. It does take into account Taekwondo. It's 10 seconds after Taekwondo. So it's a full 18 second stun immunity for Taekwondo. It's not 10 seconds, it's 18. He's still slowed. Okay, so stuns are not nearly as useful anymore. I feel like the stun immunity is too long, personally. Yeah, I don't I don't know about that, bro. I don't know about all that. All right, let's see, let's see this though. There's a stun. All right, come back closer. Okay, so there's no stun immunity, right, on the hiding spaces. And then can I parry it? Or, sorry, can I, can I like, uh, combine them? Okay, hold up, hold up. It's salvageable. I think it's salvageable. Can I, wait, while you're in that stun, do you have immunity from this? Okay, okay, it's salvageable. It's salvageable, it's salvageable. We can still do the funny to a certain degree. We just have to separate them. Let me let me try this. Let me try this. I have an idea. I have an idea. Let me stun you with this, right? And as soon as you get up, let me stun you with this and see if I like disregard all the uh immunity. Okay. Now walk to the door. Now walk to the door. No, okay. So I can't I can't do it like back. I can't do it over and over to like completely cut out the immunity but I can still combine them. The hiding spot immunity does, it is completely separate. It is devoid of door slams. So we can still do the funny. I, listen, I think, I think immunity is fine, but I think it's a little too long. I think, I think 10 seconds was a little long to start off with. I think Taekwondo making it like add on to it was a little much as well. All right, we'll test out fuse box. See how long it takes. I'll put a timer on for um, how fast they can reset it. All right. Finally. All right, just try to turn that off as soon as possible. Like, just, just get ready. Just turn it off as soon as possible. I think a good time for this would be 30 seconds. Okay. Um, About 30, 32 seconds. And then there's a cooldown to turn it back on. Okay, that's fair. That's a good change. That's a very good change. I can't turn it back on immediately. Let's see how long the cooldown is to turn it back on. 30 seconds. Okay. 30 seconds to turn off and then a cooldown to turn it back on 30 seconds. That is fair, I like that, I like that. That's fair. All right, let's test out the hitchhiker bug. Oh, look, yeah, I can't even place it in here. Interesting. Yeah, look at this, bro. Yeah, you can't even place it in here. I guess that is the most fair fix because the problem with ladders is that you can't even like see them when you're going all the way up. Let's just see, for, for argument's sake, let's put it as close we can and see if it bugs them out. I'm sure it doesn't, but for argument's sake. And right, now try, try and go through this gap over here. Okay, good. Cool, big bug change. Very nice. Hitchhiker traps are no longer bugged. Very cool, people can't abuse it either anymore. Do you think they didn't factor in stun immunity when it comes to electric gates? What if they didn't do that? What if everybody has base kit rubber boots now? All right, let's do, 
Let's do Valve. We'll test out Electric Fence. Uh, we'll swap to Johnny to see the swinging build if it works anymore. And you just get get two Bone Scrap before you before you turn it on. Like put it on first and then get two Bone Scrap. If the stun immunity counts on Bone Scraps, it'd be ideal to be stabbed and turn it off. Yeah. It'd be a lot easier to actually turn off Valve, It'd be more fair. Firstly, they, I think a better way making Valve easier to defend is it just regresses. I don't think you need necessarily stun immunity to defend it. I think it should just regress after you turn it on. You know what I mean? All right. Now backstab me. All right. All right, I'll turn it back on or I'll start turning it off again. Now wait a bit, wait, wait a bit. Now try, 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 try. Mmm, interesting. Interesting. Let me get my timer out, see how long this takes. It takes about 12 to 13 seconds to turn off Valve. It should regress on pressure. I think, listen, I think stun immunity is a good change temporarily. I do think it should probably be regressing dead same with door slams i don't think you need stun immunity for door slams it should be knock them out of range so they can't get chain stunned they shouldn't have immunity just knock them out of range so what we'll test is just try and spam back uh uh bone shards when i when i'm turning off like don't don't wait at all just try and spam it all right spam it okay Spam it. Ugh, take that. Interesting. Okay, I'm t I'm timing it right now. Okay. Um. <laughs> well, stun immunity is great and all. But I think they more so did the stun immunity um, for door slams, not Valve. Because Valve takes about 12 seconds to turn off. 12, 13 seconds to turn off. It is still kind of difficult to turn off Valve, but it didn't really change that. It's better because you get a little bit of extra time. But if it takes 13 seconds to turn off, right? And you only get to backstab 10 seconds in, that's basically making it... The game is counting for the victims. And the game is saying, hey, here's the most efficient time to backstab them now. So... They don't turn it on, but you save as much time as possible and still get the valve on. It's kind of just giving the victims the most efficient way to get the valve open. It's like timing it for them. All right, let's see. Did they account for this? Do we get base kit rubber boots? Okay, good. Okay. That's, that's good that we don't get base kit rubber boots. It'd be really funny though, I will say that. The only thing we have to test now is the Johnny stuff. If they changed it correctly, you can't swing around the map. All right. Wait, what? Is this different? I can't tell. No, it, lo it looks it looks different. It looks different. Yeah, this is this is different. Yeah, look. So this is this is my running speed, and this is my swinging speed. It's the same speed as running. So you'd be wasting you'd be wasting. Yeah, good change. Good change. It is it is the same speed as running. All right, let's test out uh, getting stabbed after getting grappled. And I'll I'll lose I'll lose the grapple. Just spam, just spam my back. Can you not do it? No, you can't. Interesting. So you can't get doubled. Overall thoughts. Overall thoughts. Um, I think the fuse box is the best change that they've made so far. The bug fixes were really good. Johnny's build and Hitch's ladder traps, very good changes. Stun immunity, I think, is not the best change. I think the stun immunity is a little too long. I think it'd be better if it were like five seconds instead of like 10 and then 18 with Taekwondo. Personally, I don't think there should be stun immunity. Might not be permanent, who knows? But I think it'd be better if they just get knocked out of range from the door rather than having stun immunity for that long. Because if they get knocked out of range, then obviously they won't walk back into the door and they won't get stunned again, right? Um, it's good that you can kind of like combine them with hiding spot stuns because that will become more common and less rare. Plus, it's not like there weren't any counters to doors in the first place. A lot of people really wanted to say, oh, there's there's no counters. You can't get around it. But I've died so many times just by door slamming. Like, even if we look at my stats, 
the amount of times I've died is 472, right? And my escapes are 256 because I don't really care about living. I don't, I don't really care. And there are a lot of people who know how to counter it. You can swing into the door to avoid the slam. You can latch the door after slamming them. They can't open it again and just kill them. You can call for backup. You can walk away from the door or you can break the door. A big technique for Leatherface like teammates is to barge every door before he gets up from the basement. A lot of people who wanted to say it's uncounterable are trying to complain rather than trying to find a way around it, which is a little silly because I, I enjoy getting door slammed on both sides. It's really funny. I think it's better left where it's just push him out of range so they can't get chain stunned because chain stunned yeah it sh shouldn't really be a thing i think valve is the one that i'm most confused on because kind of makes it easier to defend with stun immunity but at the same time you can still get backstabbed and they can still confirm it to turn on instead of having stun immunity there just make it so it regresses after you turn it off yeah i think i think overall it was a very good update i do think they need to tweak some things though very very pac-man update good job Dose.